Hello reader friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I think I'm going to do a little reading vlog and just little vlog in general. I really don't have a whole lot of plans for the day, but I haven't done a vlog in a while and I'm going to the library and I need to finish Restore Me. So I just thought I would take you guys along on my day. It's my day off. It's very late in the morning already. It is like almost 11 o'clock. It's fine. I started my day late. I slept in. It's okay. I needed it. I don't sleep very often or very much. So I will take all the days that I do. Like I said, it is almost 11 o'clock right now. Also don't mind the red splotches all over my face. I did kiss my cat and we all know I never learn my lesson and I always get hives after I do that. It's fine. I did write down a few things that I wanted to do in my notes. Right now I'm gonna make breakfast. And then I'm going to go to the library because I have some stuff that I have to pick up. But also I kind of want to just look around and hang out and maybe find some holiday reads. I, it's so hard for me to find like holiday reads because most of them are romance. And as you know, I don't really read romance. I don't know. I am trying to dabble more into the genre, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I want to find some holiday like snowy reads for this like winter season. I have a couple already, but I don't know if I want to do a whole nother video on like my Christmas holiday winter reads or if I should just incorporate it into this one. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to make breakfast. I'm going to go to the library to pick up books and oh, my library also has a like bookstore inside the library where everything's like one to four dollars. So. I'm probably gonna check that out too. Not that I need anything, but I always just like to check, you know, because like if the book's only a dollar or two, it's justifiable, isn't it? Um, then I'm gonna go through my reading plans for the rest of the week and finish Restore Me. I'm about halfway through Restore Me right now, but I'm hoping that I get done with it today because then I want to start one of the books that I'm picking up at the library today. And then I also need to go to the store to get some nails to put my like posters and wall art up. Cause at the moment we have nothing on our walls and it's making me a little uncomfy. And it's making it super echoey in here. I mean, I'm in the kitchen, so it's gonna be really echoey, but like in my last video, I just, I hate the acoustics in here. It just sounds too open. I am gonna get a microphone though to attach to my camera soon, whenever I have <laughs> the funds for it. So hopefully you won't have to deal with this for very much longer. I think I'm gonna make some pancakes I don't know. I have these pancakes from Trader Joe's that are like already made. I just pop them in the toaster. They're these little guys. They are gluten-free and dairy-free. So my stomach will thank me later. I really want like some hash browns or some kind of potatoes. I have a really weird obsession with potatoes. I could eat them all day, every day, in any type of form. They're just so good. And then I put syrup on them, especially in the morning. So good. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get dressed. I'm feeling very lazy today. So I think I'm just gonna wear like this sweatshirt and then some leggings and my Converse or something. I don't really feel like dressing up. It's my day off. I'm gonna be lazy. And then after that, we will go to the library. So I've been trying to drink more smoothies lately. If you guys need a really good smoothie recipe, I get this blend of fruit. It's like peaches, mangoes, strawberries, and pineapple. I am like a tropical girl, so when it comes to food and smoothies and whatnot. So I really like this blend. But yeah, in my smoothies, I'll put that fruit blend. And then I also get fresh blueberries and then I freeze them. You may be thinking, Faith, why don't you just buy frozen blueberries? Because fresh frozen blueberries are so much better than just like store-bought frozen blueberries. I can't even explain it. Like you just have to experience it for yourself, but they are so much better. So I'll put my tropical blend of fruit and then my blueberries. And then the blueberries are really good for like antioxidant and all that fun jazz. And then I'll put my Good Belly probiotic drink blend. I really like this stuff. It's really yummy, but also it's got probiotics in it. And I still have yet to find a really good um, like pill form probiotics. So if you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know. But I'll also mix a little bit of apple juice with that. Hemp parts for protein. And then for my, I have a little tincture that I really enjoy. This is a super echinacea tincture. So this is really good for like immune support. And especially during this winter season, it is flu season and COVID season and everything else, germs and sickness season. So I will put in like two droppers of this 
in the morning. And that is my morning smoothie and it is phenomenal. So this is my breakfast for the day. Mm, so good. I really want to get a new bookshelf. So I have been looking on Amazon for the last couple weeks because I'm really indecisive and I don't know what type of bookshelf I want. I really think that I'm going to get the like tiered like ladder bookshelf looking thing because right now I just have my like cube organizers as my bookshelf but I don't love that. I don't know why but every time I look at it I just get kind of like overwhelmed and I can't like choose a book and I just want to organize them differently. So I feel like if I had the ladder shelf I could just put all of my current TBR up top and then kind of just go by like color and genre like as I go down. And then it would just be more organized and it would just be more like upfront and flat and more, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it works out in my brain better and that's all that matters. So I found this one on Amazon for $70. Like I said before, I'm kind of on a budget and I really wanted to get it used. So I wanted to try off like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something, but I've been checking Facebook Marketplace every single day for the last like three weeks. I have yet to find one. So I might just have to wait until Christmas or right before Christmas. Cause I know I'm probably gonna get like an Amazon gift card or something from someone. Ah, I'm so indecisive. I'll probably end up getting it in the next like two weeks. Just watch. Ow. <laughs> I swallowed like too big of a bite and it scratched my throat. <clears throat> like all the way down. <clears throat> Ooh, eating is dangerous sometimes. Let's talk about my reading plans. Like I said before, I'm going to finish Restore Me today. And then it's been really hard lately because I really want to do like a 24 hour readathon or some kind of like really fun readathon. But I literally never have like two days in a row where I'm just like open. Like I have today off and I have tomorrow off, but tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So I know I'm probably gonna be busy most of the day then. And then I work Friday, Saturday, I have Sunday off. But then the next week is when I go back to school. So I'll have class and homework and finals coming up. So it's just really hard. And I feel like I'm not reading as much as I want to, but I'm also trying to give myself grace and be patient with myself because I read for fun and I read as a way to escape and it's just such a joy to me and it keeps me sane, but it's also really hard when you don't have time for the things that keep you sane. Once this semester is done, I'm only gonna be taking like two classes next semester, so I'll most likely have more time, but also we have like Christmas break in between like each semester. So hopefully I'm gonna do like a 24 hour readathon somewhere in there. At this point, I feel like I'm just rambling <laughs> in this video, so. So sorry, but as you can see, I'm home alone and I don't have a lot of in real life friends. So I'm just gonna chat with you guys for a minute. I'm really enjoying Restore Me so far, which is the fourth book in the Shatter Me series. Cause there's like the first three and then there's the last three. And the first three you can definitely read as like a standalone trilogy but I love the series so much that I decided to pick up with the next three books. We like, are finding out something really huge right now. And I just like, I mean, it, it definitely wasn't expected. Like I am really surprised by that, but it's also like, I feel like it's gonna cause a lot of problems between two certain people. And I just don't, I don't want problems with these two people because I like the way that this is going. And I just, I don't want to go through this emotional attachment to these characters just to have things like not go right, you know? And people warned me, like when I picked this book up, people warned me that like something was gonna happen in this that I like wasn't gonna be happy with. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Like that happens in every book. Like it'll all work out, whatever. But now that I'm reading it, I'm like, I can see how this could turn really bad. So I'm just really interested to see how the rest of the book goes now that we've like found out this like specific part of their lives. So I don't know. I will update you guys once I pick it back up. I'm almost done with my breakfast. So I'm gonna go to the library now and pick up my books and go to that little shop and just browse around for a little bit. So I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see you at the library. Oh, it's a little croissant. My little croissant kitty cat. My sleepy little girl. Whoa, hi, pretty lady. Aren't you looking fine this morning? Oh. Big yawn.
uh, I just got home. And can I just say, I absolutely despise driving during holiday season. Nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody's going every which way. I almost get ran into like 50 times. Anxiety. Anyway, I, like I said, just got home from the store and the library. I got four books from the library that I will show you guys here in a second. But first and foremost, I need to make some lunch because I was out way longer than I wanted to be and it is now 2 p.m. <sighs> so, food first, library book haul after, and then we're reading Restore Me. <sighs> I'm so excited to finish this book because then I'm gonna read one of the books that I got the library today and I'm so excited. So, okay, lunch, I will see you in a minute. Hello, I am back. So, lunch has been made and eaten and now it is time I could pick these up. For a library book haul, I am literally so excited about the books that I got today. I can't even explain to you like the joy that I get when I pick up new books. Whether it's buying new books or just picking them up for the library. Like every time I go somewhere and just like get a look at a bunch of books and just be in the presence of books, it makes me so happy. So I will start off with the book that I am the most excited for, which is also going to be my next read after I read Restore Me. And that is The House in the Cerulean Sea. I've been wanting to read this book for so long, but I just haven't, I don't know, gotten to it yet. And I haven't really been like in the mood for it, but now I'm like super in the mood for it. And it's just exactly what I'm looking for right now. And it's got amazing, amazing ratings on Goodreads. I don't know much about this book. All I know is it's about this like caseworker who goes to this house that has these like children who have either like powers or there's some kind of like fantasy elements of some sort. I don't really know, but I've heard that it is very heartwarming, very emotional, just a really good book overall. So yes, that's gonna be my next read. And then the next one that I got is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I started reading The House Across the Lake, but then I had to return it because I didn't finish it by the time like I had to return to the library. So I'm going to buy it as like an add-on for the, the book of the month, like add-on pick for next month. But from what I know from this, it is about this girl who needs to go, I think she needs to go like home because she's at, at college or something. And so she hitches a ride with someone else, either like on campus or just in the city, but there's like a bunch of murders going on. And then she starts to think that maybe this guy or person that she is riding with is actually the murderer. So she just has to survive the night and survive the drive back to wherever they're going. I've heard very mixed reviews about this, but I feel like Riley Sager is a author that usually has a lot of mixed reviews, but I've liked the books that I've read by him so far, which is actually only Lock Every Door and then Part of Across the House Across the Lake. But I enjoy his writing. So I think I'm gonna like this for the most part. The next one I got is The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. I have read, I think, three of her books so far. I read One of Us is Lying, One of Us is Next, and I just recently read Nothing More to Tell. I loved all of them. They were all four to five star reads. I really like her books when I'm feeling like a young adult mystery, murder mystery. And they also, I feel like a lot of them have that teenage investigator vibe, and I love that, like a good girl's guide to murder. I'm always looking for Pip vibes in a book. So, excited for this one. And then my last one that I got is actually going to be one of my like winter TBR reads and that is No Exit by Taylor Adams. This has been on my TBR for a while, but I've been waiting until like the snowy wintry holiday season to read it. It has pretty good ratings and I've heard that it's like really suspenseful, which is something that I love in a good thriller book is when I'm just constantly like on my toes. I am really, really, really excited to read this one in the next couple weeks because it's not quite snowy right now and I kind of want to pick this up on a day that it is really snowy. Just waiting for that to read this one. But anyway, Anyway, I'm going to finish Restore Me. I am on page 226 right now. A lot is happening. <laughs> we are finding out so much about Juliet and about like Warner's point of view and everything. Like I said before, if I did say this before, I can't remember if I did or not. I love that Restore Me is in Warner's POV and Juliet's POV. That, like, I wish they did that throughout the entire series. I can kind of understand why she didn't, though, because I really enjoyed seeing Warner's point of view in the novella after the first book. So I don't know, maybe I take that back. 
I'm really glad that in the second part of the series, they did add Warner's POV because that is something that I just, I wanted to see more of. And I feel like it just adds so much to the story because you're just getting perspectives of like, people from each side of what's been going on. Like Warner's been on the reestablishment side and then Juliet's been like on the fighting reestablishment side. So it's really cool to just see like their different point of views on everything and how like things that happened in both of their lives were actually like, connected somehow. Anyway, so I'm really excited to finish this one. I'm going to try and finish it tonight. I probably will, but it's already, I don't know, it's like 3.30 right now. I did end up filming a video in between making lunch and filming the rest of this video. I believe the rest of my day is just going to be this. <laughs> I will update you guys through this reading time. And then hopefully by the end of this video, maybe give my final thoughts on this book and start the house in the cerulean sea. I'm so excited for that book, guys. <laughs> maybe I'll do like another reading vlog through that book if I don't finish it before then. But okay, I'm gonna start reading now and then I will update you guys as I go. So I'm on page 239 in Restore Me. I, so I really like this book so far. We are learning so much and there's like so much going on, but I almost feel like it's a little bit like too much, you know? Like there's too much going on. There's too much for my brain to like comprehend and there's way too many emotions, which I would normally like and I would normally enjoy like how deep all this stuff is but it's just like emotional overload and it like breaks my heart and it's so sad and so devastating and so just unimaginably like cruel as to what happened to these people and like what's going on, you know? But then there's also the part where I really hate the whole like, they'll never forgive me or like, I'm gonna lose this person forever. Like I won't be able to live without them that kind of stuff. I just, I don't really like when it comes down to that because I'm like, you guys love each other. Like obviously it's not completely like unforgivable. And I mean, like maybe it is, I don't know. I just, ah, I'm in a weird spot with this. I just don't like when things get to that point where it's like, you get so connected to these characters, this like relationship and like what's going on, the, the development and all that stuff, just to have it be like ripped apart or potentially ripped apart. I just, I don't know, I don't love that. This book still is really, really good. And I'm still so excited to like read the rest of this and see like what the heck happens from here on out. I'm gonna keep reading, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys cause I have a lot of like mixed emotions about what's going on right now. But like I said, definitely not expected. None of this was expected. It was a very big like bomb drop, but just, I don't know, like I said, it's just like, it feels like a lot to like take in at once. I'm gonna keep reading. So it's actually the next morning now because last night I had to do a bunch of editing and then I just got really busy, but I was starting to finish um, the book this morning. I am currently on page 272. I'm like annoyed. So I'm trying to do this without spoilers, but forgive me if there's like little ones here and there, but we are at the part where Warner just told Juliet like everything that he's found out and like what he's done and just that whole shebang. And like, I totally get it because like if I was in that same position, like I'd be pissed. I wouldn't know if I could ever trust him again. So like, I kind of understand her reaction, but at the same time, I don't know, after all they've been through, you would think that she would like take a minute and see like how visibly like torn up and broken he is about all of this and be like, okay, yes. Like I understand that you didn't know better, but still like, what am I supposed to do with this? But instead it was just like a total freak out moment. Like I can't do this. How are we ever supposed to be together again? And blah, blah, blah. And like, okay, again, if this was a realistic world, like I would totally get it. But considering it's fiction and it's a book, I just, I don't like the way this is going. And I think maybe because it's giving me anxiety and it's like making me emotionally distraught. I hate that that's like even a thing, but it's true. I don't know. I'm just like, honestly, this is probably 
like up to where I'm at, this is probably my least favorite. So I don't know, I'm really interested to see how this like second part of the series goes. But also I feel like I just need to finish this book cause like maybe things will turn out differently. But I don't know, like when, People told me that like something was gonna happen in this book. I thought Warner was gonna like mess up somehow. I mean, he obviously did royally mess up, but I don't know, like I thought it was gonna be different. Like I thought he was going to like purposely do like something bad or just like there was gonna be some kind of like betrayal or something, but no, so far at least, it's literally just him like knowing things that he's done and stuff about her life and like feeling extremely horrible about having any part in that. And that's, I don't know, like I get said, that's just not what I was expecting. But I'm gonna keep reading on and see kind of how things go from here. But I'm annoyed and I'm mad and I'm upset. Still a decent book though. Like I would probably give this one like maybe a four star, maybe. It's like a 3.75 at the moment. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I have about like 150 pages left roughly. So I will update you guys again here in a little bit. So now I'm on 287. And can I just say, Kenji is the most underrated character I have ever met. I love him literally so much because every time like crazy stuff goes down, he's always there to like make it lighter and make it like, not, it's obviously not fun, but he's just, he's just such a light and he's so funny and sweet and tender. And I just love him so much. I just got past um, like Warner's play, Warner, Warner's, POV. Wow, I really struggled with that for a minute. And Kenji like just walked into Warner's room like after that whole thing happened. But Warner's just saying that he like thoroughly screwed up. And Kenji's like, all right, all right, drone queen, calm down and tell me about this classified business. He's exactly what I need in this book because like everything's obviously going down right now and things are really nuts, but I'm kind of the same way where I'm like, all right, like let's not be dramatic. Like things are gonna be okay. Like let's just talk about it. I love him. I love him so much. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm on page 287 now. Okay, I'm really confused because she was literally just like not okay. Like at all, like barely conscious. And now she's running? Like literally not even a couple hours after. I'm just, I'm confused and I don't understand how that's happening, but whatever. I am really interested to see what was in those bullets. Okay, these are kind of spoilers. So if you haven't read the series, I'm so sorry. Just warning ahead, there will be some mild spoilers, but what the heck? Like it, it makes me feel like maybe it has something to do with her powers. Like maybe the whatever was in those bullets like inhibits her powers somehow. <clears throat> I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm thinking since people from the reestablishment have like known about these people for so long. We've obviously studied them for a long time. Like they've got to know like some way to like turn off their powers somehow or something like it. I don't know, but I'm really interested to see like what the heck is going on there. Oh, I lied. Her powers aren't off. <laughs> ah, this is, see, this is where I get really annoyed with Juliet because she's like, and now to know that those I've trusted most have been lying to me, manipulating me, everyone has been using me. Don't be dramatic. Like, no, they're not. Like, people aren't, especially like the people closest to her, like nobody's using her. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Again, with the whole, I'm so alone. She goes, old impulses make me wish I had someone to discuss this with, but I have no one to talk to anymore. You're really pissing me off, ma'am. She's, okay, I'm getting really annoyed with her because she's acting like everybody's been like against her this entire time when that's not at all what's happening. Like, yes, people knew about things that happened in your life and things about you that you didn't know, but that doesn't mean that they're like using that against you or using you are manipulating you, you know? Like, no, this that's not like what's happening here. Oh my gosh. So now she's saying that this person that came to Sector 45 that like they obviously felt like they couldn't trust at all. She was like, oh, this person tried to warn me and I can just see her like going to this person and then that person actually using her, like trying to gain the trust so she like goes with her if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. She's an, what? She's an unnatural too. What? Okay, that kind of makes sense. Wow, was not expecting that. I'm on page 
$2.99 now. I feel like I'm reading this book really quickly. Well, I feel like in general, I usually read these books pretty quick, but holy smokies. I'm interested. I My interest is peaked, not peaked, but I am very interested now to see what's going on. I still think Julia is being dramatic and I still think she needs to like chill out, take it down a couple notches. I understand her anger and her pain, but at the same time, like, dude, these people care about you and you're just gonna push everyone away. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay, so I am now on page 341. I literally, so I only have like less than a hundred pages left, but I seriously considered DNFing it for now. Now because I, it just feels like high school drama, which is like extremely irritating for me because somebody's ex-girlfriend just showed up and Juliet is like moving her stuff out of their room and she's just, she's acting like it's just like your average breakup, you know? And that's, it's really annoying because she like doesn't want to see him and she's like avoiding him. But it's like literally right before he told you all this, like moments right before he told you all this, you were telling yourself how much you love him and like how deeply your feelings are for him and all this stuff. So I'm like, I get that what happened was so severe, but I definitely feel like you wouldn't just be like, I'm gonna move out of his room and I don't know how to act around this ex-girlfriend and all blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just, I don't like the way that she's reacting to all this. And it's like, I genuinely find it so annoying, but uh, I need to know what freaking happened. So obviously I'm gonna finish it. I don't know. This is, this is definitely my least favorite book of the series. I really liked it actually up until like the halfway point and then everything just kind of started to feel very like immature and frustrating and like unrealistic. I don't know. There's, I have a lot of mixed feelings like I said about this, but there are some new characters that are being introduced that I have questions about. Like, I don't know how I feel about like if I'm rooting for them and if I like them or if I'm suspicious of them, maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. I just did not expect this from this book. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm also not done with it. So I feel like this could take a different turn, but if it doesn't, I don't think I'm gonna continue the rest of the second half of the series at the moment. I'll probably pick it up like at a later date, but I just don't really care <laughs> for all that drama stuff. I really hope it gets better though. And it turns out to be more enjoyable because right now I think I would rate this like a three star, but I do have to go to a Thanksgiving dinner soon. So I'm gonna put it down for a little bit. And then hopefully I keep saying, hopefully I'll finish it tonight. But like actually hopefully I'll finish it tonight considering I do have less than hundred pages. And then I will give like my final updates and whatnot. Hopefully I get home sooner than later so that I can finish this and then start House in the Cerulean Sea because I'm so excited for that one. But for now I'm gonna go and then I will update you guys later. Literally what? What just happened? I'm so confused. I'm currently on page 415. I was seriously considering like DNFing this book for now because I was just getting so annoyed with like Juliet and Warner and like this whole like relationship drama stuff. It was just so like not irrelevant, but it was just like, we didn't need to go there. And it was just literally annoying. But then we got kind of past like that little chunk. And then like things got really serious with like stuff that was going on in like sector 45. <laughs> and like things just escalated way too quickly. And there's so much that just happened, like, like an enormous thing that just happened. And it was explained in a matter of like three pages. What the heck? What? I just, I don't understand. Like what? My interest is definitely peaked once more. I still don't know how I feel about this book. I think this is probably gonna be like a four star, maybe like a 3.75. I'm still not done with it. I have just a few chapters left, but I think from what I can kind of like just peek at, it's mostly just like journal entries and whatnot from before, but I'm also not 100% sure. But yeah, I'm on the last like 30 pages, but I just, that was extremely unexpected. And I'm kind of annoyed at the fact that it all just like happened within that like three page span. Cause that was a big deal. Like what? I don't know, but I'm gonna finish it really quick because now I'm extremely interested to see like what's gonna happen after this. Yikes. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, again, 
I really hate so much how so much is happening in such a short span like the most crazy and significant things are happening literally in the last like 10 pages what 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 just happened my brain is still trying to like wrap itself around what the heck I just read in those last few chapters. I just don't understand how a book could take such a wild and crazy and unexpected turn. Like the first part of the book, great. The middle part of the book, absolutely hated. The last part of the book, mind blown. Completely and utterly mind blown. Ugh, I still don't know how I feel about this book. There's just too many confusing emotions. I think four stars. Four stars because it was just way too like random for me. Like it was too all over the place, but not like plot wise, like the plot stayed pretty consistent, but there was just moments where I just literally wanted to put the book down because it was so annoying and emotionally confusing. But then that ending, oh my gosh. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I need to ponder on this because I have so many thoughts and I don't even know how to put them into words. I need to know what happens with Warner now. Like, what? And then what about all the other like unnaturals that mm, there's just so much to think about. Anyway, I have to work soon. So I am going to edit this video now so I can get it up on Sunday. And then I'm probably gonna start the House in the Cerulean Sea today. Um, maybe like on my lunch break at work because I do work a long day today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and seeing my reactions to this absolutely insane book. I really wanna start doing more reading vlogs. I just haven't had time with like moving and everything. I'm gonna be reading a lot of really good books here coming up, so I'm excited for that. As always, I love and appreciate you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video.